hello and welcome to the lecture uh, in this lecture let us solve this problem uh, so here it is given that a container is filled with two moles of organ gas which is maintained at a constant temperature of 50 degrees celsius the container has a frictionless movable piston allowing the gas to expand the expansion occurs slowly ensuring the internal pressure p of the gas is always in equilibrium with the external pressure the gas undergoes an iso isothermal expansion until its volume doubles from initial volume V to Tv. So in this process we have to calculate the work done by the system during the thermal expansion and uh, change in internal energy of the gas during the expansion process. Also the amount of heat absorbed by the gas during the expansion. So we are asked three questions here. Uh, so, uh, the gas given is ideal gas, which is organ gas. It, uh, mostly in the question, they, it is mentioned about gas that uh, gas is ideal. Also, we, we may be familiar that uh, organ gas is ideal and also, yeah. And uh, for an ideal gas, we know that uh, PV is equal to NRT where n is the number of moles and r is gas constant uh, generally um, gas constant is always given in the question uh, which is uh, 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin so which can be written like this as well but in thermodynamics or in any subject uh, units are important oh sorry let me So, Joule per mole Kelvin. So, this is the gas constant and we know PV is equal to NRT. Firstly, the question is asked to calculate the work done by the system during the thermal ex isothermal expansion. Work done by the system. So, I am considering, I am just taking a reference uh, like if W is greater than 0, then work is done on the system. So, uh, in the for this condition, whenever we use this, then we know that uh, for volume expansion, pressure volume work uh, dW is equal to P minus PdV. So, uh, by this condition means uh, when the volume is increased and volume is positive, so work is done by the system. But we have taken the convention W is greater than 0 for work is done on the system. So, it is consistent with the uh, sign now because if volume doubles or expands, then the work uh, done by the system will be positive and the work done on the system will be negative in that case. So this is uh, then integrating dW and uh, minus PdV. So here we have minus and uh, uh, we know the uh, from this equation, uh, P is equal to NRT by V. So, NRT by V and we have dV. And volume is expanded from V to 2V. Initial volume is V and final volume is 2V. Or you may put subscript I just to avoid the confusion. You may think that in question it is given VI to 2VI. So I can put here uh, VI. So this is the condition now. Uh, let me wipe out this so that question is always there for us.
so w will be so this will be is equal to w basically will be is equal to uh, integral of tw will give us work that will be is equal to uh, i am taking uh, nrt outside and integral of uh, 1 by v dv is ranging from vi to to vi so w is equal to minus nrt uh, this will give us ln v so w will be minus nrt times ln 2 vi minus ln vi this will give us um, we can take this minus inside and also we know that ln a minus ln b is ln a by b so here it will be when we take minus here uh, vi will be first and 2 vi will come later so uh, vi by 2 vi this gives us nrt ln 1 by 2 let me wipe this so okay um so that's will give us uh, work and the work now we have taken minus inside uh, anyways so work will be is equal to n is number of moles is 2 and uh, r is 8.314 joule per this is the si unit and temperature always uh, take care about the temperature here the temperature given is 50 degrees celsius but you have to convert into kelvin so Our temperature in Kelvin will be is equal to two seventy three point one five plus fifty. So this will give us three twenty three point one five Kelvin. So we have to use this uh, uh, temperature in Kelvin because uh, this is the SI unit. And Ln. One by two will be minus six point nine, minus point six nine three. So we get uh, um, approximately the work done will be minus when we multiply these three seven two two joules. So when you look at this, we got work in terms of negative, and uh, initially I have. considered a notation where uh, uh, w greater than 0 corresponds to work done on the system work done on the system means w greater than 0 but here work we got uh, minus so that means the work is done by the system and in the question if you see calculate the work done by the system so work done by the system is not minus 3722 rather it is plus 3722 because this is the work done by the system and work done on the system if the question is asked work done on the system then this will be the answer because we have considered w greater than 0 as work done on the system so for that question minus 3722 joules will be the answer but if the question is asked um, opposite to what our convention is in that case it will be uh, opposite sign so here it will be plus 3722 joules that's the uh, work done by the system during this isothermal expansion now let's uh, look at the second part of the question sorry
so second part of the uh, thing is change in internal energy of the system during the expansion so this is very important thing to understand change in internal energy of the gas during the expansion so for um, gas what is the internal energy internal energy u is equal to kinetic energy of all molecules so this kinetic energy of all molecules due to molecular motion so the kinetic energy due to um, molecular motion of the gas molecules uh, that gives us uh, the molecular motion will be three types of molecular motions one is translation means it goes in a linear way like this it keeps on going like this like this whatever path it follows that is uh, translational uh, the next one is uh, rotation the molecules rotate uh, and then the vibration so this is the ku due to molecular motion plus uh, potential energy due to intermolecular forces so uh, for an ideal gas we know that uh, the average kinetic energy will be 3 by 2 kbt boltzmann constant time and uh, this potential energy due to intermolecular forces for ideal gas will be zero zero for ideal gas so here uh, u will be only equal to kinetic energy and that is equal to 3 by 2 kbt Where Kb is equal to n times R, so that gives us R T. This is the internal energy. Now, uh, internal energy is only function of T for an ideal gas. So this is an important uh, statement that uh, by conceptually you should understand, and you have to remember conceptually that. Uh, for an ideal gas internal energy is function of t so that's so it is so when that is the case uh, so we know that u is 3 by 2 nrt and delta u means if if the internal energy has to change then the only way it is possible is with change in temperature because uh, n and r are constant and 3 by 2 is also a constant so now in this case uh, it is an isothermal process so isothermal means uh, temperature is constant constant at that uh, 50 degree celsius or 323.15 kelvin so that due throughout the process uh, uh, temperature is constant hence delta u is equal to 0 so it is 0 joules now calculate the amount of heat absorbed by the gas during the expansion so for that uh, um we know that delta u is equal to heat absorbed absorbed delta q plus uh, work done so whatever may be the notation uh, just don't bother about this notation rather understand what each thing is uh, employing um, implying so here it is work done 
so heat absorbed by the system and this is always remember this is work done on the system whenever we define in this way so we are just uh, uh, putting these things in a proper convention so that's why work done on the system plus w and heat absorbed by the system as delta q and this is delta u now uh, we know that delta u is 0 so this will be is equal to delta q plus but uh, work done on the system is minus here which is uh, sorry delta q minus 3722 joules so from this we can write delta q is equal to 3722 joules so whatever the work is done uh, by the system that amount of uh, uh, heat is absorbed so this will be 3722 joules and there is no confusion regarding the sign here only thing is just remember that this this is heat absorbed by the system and when we put plus w that means work done on the system but work done on the system is minus 3722 joules work done by the system is plus 3722 joules so it's all clear and there is no confusion about the sign convention here because uh, in the beginning itself I have told when w is greater than 0 is considered for work done by the system then w will be minus p dv this when this is taken as work done on the system so and when we keep on solving and we get work negative that means work is done by the system and that is op positive so it's all basically it's very easy uh, i just over maybe i have overemphasized i don't know but uh, it is very easy now uh, take up a assignment question so the question is a container is filled with two moles of organ gas which is initially at a pressure of 5 bar the external pressure is 1 bar that is uh, uh, surrounding pressure the container is placed in contact with the hot bath maintained at constant temperature of 50 degrees celsius the gas expand until its volume doubles from the initial volume of uh, this volume then calculate the work done by the gas during the expansion and also determine the change in internal energy of the gas during the expansion and calculate the amount of heat absorbed by the gas during the expansion. Also uh, compare the work done in both cases and write the reason for the amount of the work that you obtained in this case compared to the previous case and write the reasons why that changes in work done by the system had occurred so thank you so much uh, uh, in the next lecture we will see another important rather everything is important but uh, uh, important for learning uh, important to build concepts uh, strong concepts in this thermodynamics uh, so see you in the next lecture thank you